Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Today we're going to be revisiting the uh, ADT SafeWatch Pro 3000, basically any Vista series, Vista 10, 15, 20, 20p, it, it goes all the way up to the 128, um, on how to extract the installer code. Now the, the reason I'm revisiting in this is because I, on the other video, I got a couple of people that um, basically it was like half a dozen that came back to me and says hey your video is wrong that is not the way you do it because I followed your video iota to iota and the alarm went off the police were here and no no guys I re I reviewed that video everything is correct um, it's just that I, I know what you did wrong you did not properly power down the system or you just didn't power the system down at all and you just you know just started hitting buttons and the alarm went off but that's why I have to revisit this is because um, there's some people out, out there that maybe it's me maybe it's my teaching or something but they just did not follow directions and I, that's why I want to revisit this one because this is real important this this is going to take your panel from you being held hostage by your alarm company to you having full control of your alarm panel that's why I want to revisit this one um, Maybe I can do a better job on this one. I don't know. But I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step on how to power down a SafeWatch Pro 3000 um, Vista series. Like Again, I said 10, 15, 20, um, 50, 75, 75 UL. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to show you how to get in there and find out what the installer code is. All right. So without further ado, Let's uh, get into it. So first, I'm going to show you a fully powered up alarm panel. Okay. It says disc arm chime. So I'll go one, two, three, four away. Yeah, I'm fault nine. Where is it? Where's my fault nine at? Is it over here. Is this it? I got a contact over here somewhere. Oh, maybe it's this one. Hang on, guys. There we go over here. Yep, there it is. So now that one's set. So one, two, three, four away. One, two, three, four off. Disarmed. Ready to arm. All right. That's a fully powered up panel. Now let's power it down. My panel is right up here. So what you're going to do is this is going to be a little bit different than my other one. I'm going to show you how to directly power this system down and what you need to do is right over here on the far left hand side of the panel uh, right there terminal one that is terminal one for the AC power input and this big black box over here more yeah yeah bo box block whatever you want to call it that's your battery so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to take the wire off of terminal one. All right. Now, guys, just a disclaimer. I am not claiming any responsibility if you go in there with shaky hands, you know, and start sorting out stuff. I am not responsible for that. And if you take this, this wire off of terminal one and you start shorting it out on the panel and everything, I am not responsible for that. You take the wire off the terminal one and just pull it back and don't let it touch anything. All right. So now that's the AC power. Now let's go down and look at the alarm panel. That panel is still fully powered up. It says AC loss, but it'll still arm. Disarmed. Now, ready to arm. Why is that thing still powered up? Huh. Oh my gosh, I forgot to disconnect the battery. All right, so let's disconnect the battery. So now we got one wire off the battery and we've got the uh, one wire off of the AC input to the alarm panel. Let's go down to the alarm system now. That is what we want to see. Press buttons, nothing, nothing. The system is now completely dead. All right, I can go down here. I can hit star and pound at the same time. Nothing happens. All right. I got to get my computer to shine back up here so I can see what I'm doing. 
So now that is a completely powered down system. All right. Now the next step, what you want to do is you want to put the one wire back on terminal one. All right. I'm going to open this up a little bit further here. I'm going to put the wire under here. Now don't freak out when it starts beeping like that. Tighten it down. Now you have to get to your you have to get to your alarm pad within 45 seconds. Within 45 seconds, get to the alarm pad and hit the star and pound at the same time. Same exact time. All right. Right there it says installer code. Now what you want to do is hit the pound sign two zero and then watch the numbers that show up here all right i don't even know what my my alarm code is for this one that contrast is kind of screwed up isn't it all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit pound two zero now watch the numbers one four seven two one four seven two that is my installer code all right so once you find out what the installer code is you want to hit star nine nine all right disarm chime ready to arm so now what i want to do is i want to go into program now remember my installer code was one four seven two uh, I want to get that to stop stop doing that maybe I can turn the autofocus off so it's not flashing back and forth okay let's do that all right so now my installer code is 1472 so to get in the program you hit 1472 or whatever your code is your installer code is and then you hit 800 so let's try it 1472800 and there we are we're in program let's go uh, star 56 all right that that's where you put in your your contacts your smoke detectors and all that so i'm just going to hit uh uh, let's go. I'm gonna go zero zero. I'm just gonna get out of here. That's a I got videos on that how to program guys All right, so now that So now we know what the installer code is mine is one four seven two So now let's go back up to the alarm panel We've got the AC power on you want to plug your battery back in So I plug it back in And guys that is how that is how you find out what your installer code is step by step so the main ingredient here or main step that you want to follow is you got to make sure all right that this um screen is 100 percent blank that will ensure that the the system is totally powered down all right because the, what's happening is, is I'm, I, I know what's happening is people are not properly powering it down. It still has, it's still powered up and they hit that star and pound at the same time. And they're actually setting off a panic button by hitting star and pound at the same time. All right. So that's the key, guys. It has to be 100% powered down. Once you get it powered down, just power it up with AC power. Hit that star and pound at the same time. It'll say installer code. You hit pound two zero. Watch the numbers. That's your installer code. And once the numbers scroll by and you write it down, you hit star nine nine. That kicks you out of program. And now you're ready. You can, as I showed you, you hit your installer code eight zero zero. Pops you right into program. And you can change anything you want in the system. All right, guys. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, like, subscribe. Leave me a message, call me an idiot. I'll accept it.